Hey everyone, Aaron here. Um, real quick before we get into tonight's review, I was just wondering if any of you out there uh, got your tickets in for Star Wars Celebration in Chicago, and how was the process for you? Uh, I'd love to know if any of you guys are going. I got my tickets, I got the five day. Um, that part was pretty painless, but getting a hotel for Chicago area was pretty painful. So anyways, on to today's review, we're going to take a look at the Clone Wars ATTE. So let's head to that table and check this one out. And in 2008, this is what $100 got you, the Legacy ATTE, or the All-Terrain Tactical Enforcer. And this is a pretty sizable box, coming in at 26 and a half inches wide, 15 and a quarter inches tall, and 8 inches deep. So this is going to take up some space on the shelf if you're keeping it in the packaging and really opening it up. Even the toy itself is pretty large. Anyways, though, this is the Legacy packaging. That means it's mostly white with some blue highlights running around the box. Gives you the blue Star Wars logo in the upper left corner, and in this case, this is part of the Clone Wars line, so that got you that cl the Clone Wars underneath the logo. Anything to do with the movie releases, then just did not get the Clone Wars logo. As far as the rest of the packaging, though, you get a great image of the vehicle on the front with a pretty good-looking battle scene around it. You know, you even see another ATTE in the background. And then you got some features being called off, that this has electronic lights, sounds, and clone trooper phrases, and then also that you got some articulated legs with this vehicle. Through the window, you can see the included clone trooper. And then down here, note, it does take three AA batteries. On the sides of the packaging, much like the front, you see the vehicle. You see the Star Wars logo up there at top, and that's the same on both sides. Top of the box is relatively plain, just with a larger Star Wars logo. You see the vehicle minus the uh, environment battle scene around it. And then, of course, the label saying this is the ATTE. And now taking a look at the back side, of course, as always, you got a large image of the toy itself with plenty of highlights being called out about what this vehicle does, what you get for your money. I'm not going to go through it here, but you can just see it as the shot pans through. And then on the top right side of the box, you got a brief description about this vehicle, what it's being used for specifically, that it was in the Battle Geonosis, and that it was used throughout the Clone Wars. And here is that vehicle, all assembled, put together, stickers applied, ready to go. Sorry, I did this years ago without all of you here watching. But you just attach the six legs, and then underneath the legs, you attach little roller balls that, you know, it doesn't walk on its own, it's not motorized. But you can roll it along on the floor if you if you like, if you have a smooth floor. But anyways, like I said, this, this is just a fantastic looking vehicle. I think it's absolutely representative of what we saw on screen. I can't say that it's actually spot on accurate. But from the images that I'm seeing of, of, from the movie and from the cartoon, this thing looks pretty darn close to me. It's good enough anyways. And I'm sorry, but this thing just is too big for my turntable. So we're going to have to take a look at this side by side or chunk by chunk. This is the front of the vehicle. Left side, as you're seeing it here, left side of the driver, which goes in this area here. Wonderful red painting, burgundy, if you will. And then through the edges of the vehicle, there's just little bits of worn edges to the painting. So it's not a solid, pristine job, even though the rest of the vehicle is looking pretty brand new. It's a very clean look. They didn't do any weathering to the vehicle, which is a touch unfortunate. But seriously, the thing is so huge and fantastic looking as it is. You got tons of playability. That for the hundred bucks you spend for it, I'm not going to complain that there's not weathering to it. This vehicle still looks fantastic, at least to me. Then you also have the sticker that gets applied right here. This emblem here is already pre-painted onto the vehicle, so that is not a sticker. And as far as the rest of the body, really lots of geometric shapes to it, lots of angles to the panels. Really a very nice design to them. You can see through here you've got some light gray for some of those panels sticking out little bit of black painted in where those panels get indented with some fading from the bottom and then getting all black as it gets higher. Now for those legs I mentioned you do get six total, three on each side obviously. Uh, nice design and sculpting to those. Nothing overly dramatic, very simple, but like I said I, I think it was pretty simple design to the vehicle in the movies, in the, in the cartoon show. So I'm getting what I expect to see here. And then your outer corner legs have three areas of articulation. That's up here at the top of the body where it connects. So you get a little bit of range there. Right there at the knee, if you will. And then down here at the ankle, let's call it. And then for the center leg, you just got your point where it attaches to the main body. So you get that there. And then down here at its ankle. And then on the other side of the vehicle, it's just a mirrored image of the left side that we were just looking at, so I'm not going to spend any time here. But as you can see, things are looking the same here. And then on the front of the vehicle, lots of great looking things here. Of course, you got the uh, driver's seat, if you will, and that opens up. Get this out of the way. 
this opens up you can stick a figure in there and he just goes in at that standing position no you know controls or anything but hey that's just fine and then that closes just fine around him on the front side you also have these cannons now you can kind of change the the positioning of these a little bit but they're gonna all move together as you you know rotate these side to side so each one is linked together each of these four and then not only do they go side to side but you also get the ability to move each one independently up or down and then each of these has these little missiles that when you push the button whoops i lost track of where that went but that shoots out pretty good and then that just snaps right back in there on the back end not too much to see here you do have a little bit more detailing these vents are actual vents molded into the plastic and not stickers that you placed on two more weapons on the back end and these move independently from each other so they're not you know gonna move in sync and you can also tilt these up and down if you wanted and then you got the same shooting action where you push the button and the missile shoots out and bear with me here is that's the best way i can show the top of the vehicle but a lot of the design elements are the same up top you got some vents up here on the top of the canopy that's sculpted in there uh just underneath that weapon that large cannon on top you've got your on off switch for the electronics here in the center area this kind of rib section if you will nice copper painting to it which extends down to the side where you got some dark gray little mechanical looks and stuff sculpted in there but you got three buttons like i said for electronics and then this button here that's just underneath those three or to the left as you're looking at it is what opens up the back area you push that button and everything springs out and i'll show that here real quick but just to finish off the back end you know like i said not much to see here a little bit of sculpting there and then for that large cannon up top it does swivel side to side so really great range you can have lots of fun you know shooting down the the droid army if you will and then to that like i said this is the electronics we'll show that in a bit but you got a nice sculpted chair up top i mean nothing crazy i don't mean like oh wow totally cool but just you know some texturing in the plastic and then same throughout here in the middle area you got your clear parts where you're going to see the lights come out and then on the left side of the weapon is where you got your button that you're going to push that and then this will shoot out and along with that, you get your cannon sound effect and a couple lights light up here at the top. And then pushing this button at the back of the seat of the top cannon gets you the light effect at that targeting area. And then also just a quick double burst of cannon shots along with that top part of the cannon in that center area lighting up. And then on each side of the vehicle, you got this side area that you can open up. And this little flap here clicks open, which then reveals an interior compartment where you can seat four figures. I'll do my best to show it off in here, but you have a decent amount of sculpting for, you know, an interior area of the vehicle that you're not going to really see too much of. First, this dash area, a little bit of black painting, like I said, some sculpting in there, and then these stickers that you do apply to the top of the dash. And then for the seats, you got a bit of uh, texturing sculpted in there, and then a little bit of painting and sculpting for each armrest of the seats. Now, obviously, smaller hands are going to get your figures in those two middle seats much easier, but certainly the figures do sit in there just fine. And then as that door opens up, you do have some steps revealed here and here. They're pretty thin, obviously, but it gives you something for your imagination. You know, people walking up, whatever. And then more pipes and stuff sculpted in for some detailing on the interior of the vehicle here at the top. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you got this button here at the top back side that will open up this compartment. pretty sweet right all right so first up on this lid that pulls out more stairways much more details in the sculpt here than you had on the front area but you know just some texturing in these panels and you got a couple pegs throughout the stairway and at the base just so you can stand your figures on this if you wanted them to and have it stay upright and on the interior of this back side lots of sculpting detailing throughout this area had some more stickers placed in this big round one on the back side of the wall and then a couple more in these gunner positions and in this area, you can fit a handful of figures. There's peg stands on the bottom of the unit to help those figures stay in place as well. And you can stand a figure at each one of these gunner positions too. And on the bottom side of the vehicle, you got a fair amount of sculpting down here. Lots of little details of pipes and stuff running around the bottom. This is the kind of thing you just don't see anymore. At least, you know, nowadays, maybe with the vehicles coming back in the vintage line, we will. But having this much detail on the bottom side of the vehicle is pretty cool to see. And then also you got the center area right here. You see the screw. That's where your three AA batteries go for those electronic functions. And I think now's a good time to get into those. 
This closest button here is what's going to give you your vehicle walking sounds. And that middle button gets you various clone trooper phrases. All units attack. The droid army is in full retreat. All forward positions are advancing. Approaching droid perimeter. We are undetected. All units, fire at will. And that far right button gets you multiple cannon firing sounds at once. And then also lights up that uh, target area of the top cannon. <laughs> so I think that's got everything pretty much covered up on this vehicle just a fantastic looking toy and now we're going to move on to the included clone trooper figure this is a reissued figure from one that was released in the clone wars figure line not too much prior to this being released and the only difference with this figure is that emblem on the side of his shoulders otherwise this is the very same figure that was released carded like i said overall this figure is done in the animated style since this vehicle technically falls within that clone wars line and that really just means for the looks of this, it's just that helmet is just going to have just a little more animated look to it, I suppose. It's hard to explain. Just the features are a touch more exaggerated than what we would have seen in the movies. But otherwise, this really is just a fantastic looking figure. Lots of just dirt grime and stuff all over the figure head to toe. Except for in this center body area, for some reason, that's relatively clean in there. Uh, and one thing to note that I noticed on this figure and the other one that was released as single carded for me, just getting a slight discoloration in the white is just a little bit different tone. I don't think it was initially released that way. I think it's just due to the age of the plastic. But otherwise, we'll dial in real quick look at this since we've already spent so much time at the vehicle. The head area is looking pretty good. Great sculpting to the helmet. That black is painted on very nicely for the visor area, so things are really looking good here. Through the upper half of the figure, again, like I mentioned, you get that dirt wash continues, and a good sculpt to the uniform overall. Belt sculpting is looking pretty good. You got the pouches on the side, the little cylinder thing on the back of it, and through the leg area, again, just that dirt grimy look to the figure continues. But overall, just a great looking figure to go with a great looking vehicle. As far as articulation on the figure, the head is on a ball joint, so you're going to get your swiveling as you would expect, and you get some nodding up and down, and even a little bit of tilting side to side, so pretty good range of motion in the head area. At the shoulder area of the figure, things extend really high here, great range of motion with that, and then of course you get your swiveling at that joint, and then at the elbow area, you can bend and straighten that arm, get you pretty much 90 degree reach there, and then of course you get your swiveling side to side. Wrist articulation, you can spin both hands. And then this right wrist goes up and down. So it gets a pretty good range of motion there. And then his left hand, uh, you get your side to side. That waist articulation is going to be just above this uh, seam of the chest right here. But he's going to spin all the way around. And certainly, let's see, nothing side to side. But you get your crunching down and a little bit back. And then at the leg area, things pretty much go straight out. And you get just a little bit going backwards. As for the knee, it is a single joint in there, but you get pretty good bend. And then, of course, that swivels around. And then at the foot area, that foot goes forward and back at a decent range. And then also the ankle spins around there. He does come with his single blaster. A pretty good look to that, actually. It's a nice sculpting, very representative of the weapon you would expect to see. And then just the painting to it is, um, it looks more dirty than I'd say wear and tear, but... It's decent looking, certainly fits in his hand just fine. And he does have that trigger finger sticking out, so you can set that in there to give it a proper look. So pretty good looking figure overall. Like I said, one that's already been released already, but they did make it a touch different by throwing that emblem on the shoulders. And to wrap up the vehicle, as I already mentioned earlier, this is just a fantastic toy. Lots of detailing to it, lots of playability to it. And it works. Even though it's themed as Clone Wars, it still looks like a very, very passable toy from the movie line. It's in my mind this might as well be from episode two itself and so that wraps up this look at the clone wars att i'd love to know what your thoughts are on this vehicle in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching